Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video, doing the verification of the autumn 2018 forecast for today's uh, first video. So, um, back at the end of August, we released the Gaz of his autumn 2018 uh, forecast. We've gone into it now, a little bit late, getting the verification uh, up for you. So, um, we are past the autumn 2018 and it's time to verify our uh, forecast. So, the Gaz of his autumn forecast was for a slightly milder than average autumn. We thought temperature would be coming out on the warmer than average side and precipitation wise we thought probably favoring a little bit above average with rainfall if anything it's a very complicated um it's a very complicated forecast for this autumn it's very unsure about it because our analogs were pitching us somewhere in the middle of two extremes really uh we had 1989 as a very good analog uh which was a very dry uh, and very mild autumn. We also had 1976, 76, which was a very wet autumn. And so we kind of pitched it somewhere in the middle, uh, so a little bit above average um, with rainfall. And we thought temperatures would probably come out a little bit milder than average as well. So using the climate averages at the UK Met, we're going to verify uh, that forecast now. So this is how temperatures uh, came out uh, for um, the autumn 2018, set against 61 to 1919. You can see it was basically a milder than average autumn through most parts of the country. Temperatures uh, were above average for nearly all places. Northern Ireland, um, very close to average there. The far west, southwest of Wales, very close to average average but otherwise most of rare is around half a degree to one degree above the 61 to 1990 average these eastern parts of the country are even milder than that parts of the uh, east anglia the east midlands for example the anomaly is up to around one to one and a half degrees above average so in the east it was very mild autumn nearer normal uh, in the west so that's set against 61 to 1990 but if we can flip that over to uh, 81 to 2010 you see then the deviation isn't as large. So many western parts of the country are uh, around average really set against 81 to 2010. Whereas eastern parts of the country, uh, there we see the um, temperature still a little bit above average, but not as much uh, as set against 61 to 99. So for the east part of the country, uh, we're around half a degree to one degree above average. For western areas, we're close to average. So it depends which average you take really. Um, I think you say definitely against 61 to 99. Nearly all places came out milder than average, set against 81 to 2010. Uh, it's a little bit above average in the east and near normal uh, over in the western part of the country. From a temperature perspective, I don't think we did too bad, uh, really. Although the way we got to this was a little bit uh, against what we thought would happen because uh, we thought that uh, we'd get the mildest weather through September, October, and then November would probably have a 50-50 chance, we thought, of being either a milder or a colder than average month. So we said that November would probably have the greatest chance of being cold than average. What actually happened is that uh, uh, November is responsible for this milder than average autumn, uh, because November was one month out of the three that did actually come out with uh, rather significantly above average temperature. Temperatures, whereas for September and October, we was much closer to average through most parts uh, of the country. A few places were even a little bit cooler than average in September and October, set against 81 to 2010. However, we did get that Scandinavian high through uh, November. So we expected blocking in November. We got it. Uh, it just wasn't particularly cold. It didn't pull any, in any particularly cold winds. It's very cloudy. So it meant that nighttime temperatures held up. So it was a little bit unlucky with that, uh, actually. We could easily, uh, in a very slightly different uh, orientation of that Scandinavian high. We could easily have come out with a rather colder month um, in uh, in November. But of course, then we would have come away with a colder than average autumn. So at least the autumn uh, did come out slightly above average with those temperatures. So I think from a temperature side of things, um, things did go OK for the autumn forecast, really. As far as um, precipitation is concerned, again, we see a lot of regional variation. So our forecast were possibly being slightly... Uh, above average with precipitation. That came off okay for parts of Scotland and northwest England, also west of Wales, but 
uh, for Northern Ireland, for much of North West England, for much of the Midlands into East Anglia. Uh, there, it's actually a drier than average month, so the forecast was wrong. I think what we can say about precipitation is that just a lot of regional uh, variation, really. You see a lot of uh, varying from area to area. Drier than average in the north of Scotland, for example, wetter than average in the south of Scotland. Drier than average in Northern Ireland, wetter than average in South West Scotland, but drier than average in North West England, wetter than average in the south of Wales, drier than average in the Midlands and much of uh, East Anglia and down into southeastern parts of England too. There's one thing that does show up, I suppose, is that these west, uh, western areas tend to be a little bit wetter than the eastern areas, although then again, Northern Ireland is coming out basically drier than average. So a lot of regional variation uh, this autumn. You wouldn't say we have had a particularly wet autumn, though. And set against 81 to 2010, actually we've seen more of England and Wales coming out drier uh, than average. So I think on the precipitation side of things, it was a little bit drier than we expected. The autumn possibly went a little bit more towards 1989, uh, I think, in terms of the two analogues that were showing up. Less um, less so with 1976 and more towards 1989. It's interesting that that's how the summer played out uh, as well. So um, the summer started off very similar to 1976. Um, but then we got to August and uh, we started to go more towards 1989 with the summer beginning to just deteriorate a bit through the autumn, through um, August. And that's exactly what happened in 1989. And then the autumn has followed that sort of 1989 track. Now we're going to be hoping that we don't continue along this 1989 track for the winter because that would really bust the gas of this winter forecast because 1989-1990 was actually a very mild winter. There was a virtual snowless winter through most parts of the country so that would go against the colder than average winter uh, that we've forecast for 2018-19. Um, so I'm hoping we're not going to carry on along this 1989 track, but certainly it looks like the autumn favoured more uh, in terms of the two analogues that were competing with one another. Definitely, I think the autumn favoured 89 a little bit more than uh, 76, or quite a lot more than 76, because 76 was a very wet autumn indeed, and that has not been the case uh, for the autumn of 2018. So, Good and bad, really, I think, with the autumn forecast. The temperature side of things was a lot better than, than the precipitation side of things. Uh, but uh, it's for you to decide what you think to the as of this autumn forecast. I think there was some good elements in there. There was also some things that we got wrong as well. But in any case, it's always important to go back and verify your forecasts when you make them. So um, that's it. That's uh, closing the door on the autumn of 2018. We are well into winter now. Of course, we issued the winter forecast on uh, the 2nd of December. And uh, when we get to the end of this winter, we will be verifying the winter forecast as well to see how that did. So we never stop at Gaza Viz. We keep the um, long-range bandwagon rolling on. And spring updates will begin in January. Just having a little bit of a break uh, at the moment in terms of the long-range stuff. But we'll be back in January with uh, some updates for the spring. Right, so that's the verification uh, of the autumn 2018 forecast done and dusty for you. I know a lot of you have been waiting uh, to see this. So sorry it's a little bit delayed. I've been so busy uh, with everything else going on at the moment. So um, that's that done. Uh, later on today, we're going to have a look at the weather next week to 10 days. As, all, as always, I mean, tonight we'll have, I think we're up to update number 18, the 18th uh, Christmas update. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.